Introducing first, the challenger. She fights out of the red corner and wears the black and silver. She scaled eight stone, 13 pounds, four ounces. Her professional record, 10 victories against two defeats with four wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Lesibo, Sweden, please welcome Lucy Wildheart. Wildheart. And her opponent across the ring fighting out of the blue corner. She is the defending world champion. She wears the beige with the green and gold trim. She scaled eight stone, 13 pounds, two ounces. Her professional record, a perfect one. Eight fights, eight victories. Fighting out of Queensland, Australia, here is the 2020 Olympian and the reigning, defending, undefeated WBC interim featherweight champion of the world, Sky Nicholson. Nicholson. Okay, fighters, I've talked to you in the dressing rooms, I've told you the rules. Keep your fight clean at all times, protect yourselves at all times, and whatever I say, you must obey. Okay, Sky, Lucy, touch gloves. God bless. Second touch. Round one. And in a sense, a new phase in the career of Sky Nicholson. Having said, she's now abandoned the idea of attempting to go to the Olympics in France next year, having appeared at the most recent games in Tokyo two years ago, now fully committed to her professional career. Lucy Wildhart with that record of 10 wins and two defeats, as we heard from David Diamante. Those two defeats, though, in good company against Estelle Mosley, the Olympic champion from France, and most recently against the American Michaela Meyer. Bruce is waiting a little bit too long to commit to their attacks there. And the shot to there from Nicholson, just catching well down a little bit square. Yeah, I actually think when Sky comes off round to the side, she can actually bring that backhand for her second phase. Um, I feel like the timing is impeccable from her, um, so she can get the second phase off quite early. That's it, that's how you get out of the corner, like that. Oh, uh, lovely right hit there from Nicholson as well. Into the second minute of the third round, and signs that Nicholson is really beginning to read the forward advances of Wildheart. Yeah, it's just a little bit root well, isn't it, from Wild Hat. She's trying to get a little bit of a roll on her shoulders there, but there's nothing coming behind it, so she's ultimately rolling her shoulders, but still really walking on in straight lines here. Yeah, it's quite predictable, and you can read it from, from quite far away. Nice little bounce to her step here, though, Nicholson, now, and a bit more confidence in her work. Yeah, she's enjoying herself. Another one of those left hands bounces off the chin of Wild Hart. Yeah, good round here for Nicholson. Ed Sheeran at ringside in conversation with tonight's promoter Eddie Hearn. Ed's grandfather Bill was the president of my amateur club back in the day and went on to become a steward at the British Boxing Board of Control. I love that story. That's fantastic, Mike, it really is. A real boxing man, Bill Sheeran. I did, I did think Wilder got a little bit closer in, in the last round, not enough to win it, but a bit closer. And if she can build on that, and it's about coasting now, that's lovely work from Nicholson. Really good work. But sometimes when, you, when you're so far ahead, you coast around, and that's always a danger there, that you're only falling back into the fight. 
Wild well, Heart again in the southpaw stance and really is beginning to get picked off now by Nicholson. I think she felt that left hand there, Wild Heart from Nicholson. Some lovely punches there from, from Sky Nicholson, really good work. She does have a, she does have an opponent that's coming right out in a straight line. It's be, and it's been more structured, the work, hasn't it? So she's like a last one, she's more looser with some of the work. Here, there's been more accuracy, I think, economically, it's been better. Yeah, and I really like the body work this time as well, uh, the variation. And Nicholson, strong at the weight. Way back in 2016, she won a bronze medal at the World Amateur Championships, up at 64 kilograms at Light Welter. When, she's on a ball, when she gets on the ball, her feet gets a bit of rhythm to work. I think she's a much better fighter. And now beginning to hold her ground in the centre of the ring. For the third fight in a row, Katie Taylor involved in a million dollar occasion dating back to April last year at Madison Square Garden where she took on Amanda Serrano who's now in the sights of Sky Nicholson you mentioned the last shot there Mike but she is starting to plant the feet now there's a little more weight in the shots here from Nicholson The only concern for Nicholson is, is, the le is the right hand low, the lean hand low, because it works for her, but she's so tall and long, she sits on that back foot, and it works. But against someone like Serrano, she won't be de deterred when she takes a shot going forward, Serrano. She'll continue to punch. And I think with that height and that, that hand low, that's an invitation. Had you said that, Barry, she just, she just got it up. <laughs> and the towel has come in. Away from the view of the referee who sees it now from the corner of Lucy Wildheart. They were talking to her in between the rounds and asking her if she felt okay. And there's very little in the way of a protest from Lucy Wildheart. And Sky Nicholson, on the back foot mainly, has broken down the resistance of the Swedish boxer. And that is, for me, the best performance of her career so far for Sky Nicholson. And the first time she's won inside the distance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee David Irving calls a halt to this contest. The official time of the stoppage, one minute and 11 seconds of round number nine, declaring a winner by TKO. She's still undefeated and still the WBC interim featherweight champion of the world, Sky Nicholson. So it's win number nine for Sky Nicholson, continuing to grow as a boxer, continuing to build her reputation. And tonight, the first inside the distance win in her professional career. And for me, the most impressive performance so far.